I can't thank my caucus colleagues enough for putting their confidence and trust in me. Uh, I'm excited that we are going to be moving forward with a strong opposition. And I just want to say a big thank you. Former Health team. Minister Ronna Ambrose has been chosen as the new interim leader of the Conservative Party. She beat out seven other candidates for that position, which comes with the task of rebuilding a party that saw a substantial drop in support in the last election. Ronna Ambrose joins us this morning from Ottawa, bright and early for us. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Amos, tell me about the, the work ahead, because there would have been, I guess, some discussion, certainly at the meeting yesterday. How does the Tory party move forward? Well, right now we're having a lot of discussions about renewal, but yesterday was a fantastic meeting because we all came together with a real sense of optimism and confidence. And it was really exciting for me to be chosen uh, by my colleagues to lead for the next few years before we do have a permanent leader in place. And I feel really good about uh, the sense of comfort that I have around my colleagues. Uh, we have a really strong team. I've known them for years. We have a big group of new people, a lot younger people, a lot of new women. Uh, I'm just, I'm really excited about the opportunity to lead them and to be part of something that is about renewal. And when we talk about renewal, I mean, in terms of any entity moving forward, obviously with the loss of an election and loss of seats, you look back to kind of, okay, you know, where did we go wrong and, and what, how can we do this better moving forward? A lot was talked about in terms of the tone of the campaign. We were just talking to Jason Leader, who's a conservative strategist, saying that people moved, gravitated towards an optimistic tone that they found with Trudeau they did not find with the conservatives. How do you change that tone? Well, one of the things that's always made me passionate about conservatism is, you know, when I think about our basic values, I think about that stay-at-home mom who knows how to make do on a small budget. I think about a, a small business owner or a, a young woman who's an entrepreneur. I think about so many people in communities that are volunteer-oriented and community-spirited and are part of a faith-based community. There's so many people that fit into that conservative family that have always been part of the base and the 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 kind of people that have voted for us and I feel like we've lost that optimistic connection with them and so that's one of the things that I hope uh, I can bring as a message to Canadians uh, they have a home in the Conservative Party young old um, people from all communities I mean we're a party that believes in diversity we're a party that believes um, in People that are self-starters, you know, people that come to this country uh, and want to build a family and a business and a community. I, I just believe that we have such a strong message to tell, and I look forward to mm. sharing that, that optimistic message with Canadians. We've talked a lot about female representation because, of course, as you know, um, the Prime Minister has half of his um, members, half of his caucus, female representation in terms of cabinet. Did you have to say to yourself, because some people were saying, hey, why, why wouldn't Ron Ambrose want to be the permanent leader of the party? Did that roll through your mind in terms of making the decision to go interim? Yeah, it sure did. I, I thought about it for a long time. And by all means, I had some wonderful support to put my hat in the ring for a long-term leader. But when I look at the challenge in front of us right now, uh, I've always been known to be a bridge builder. I've always uh, been had a strong relationship with our caucus uh, and I felt like this was a good fit for me and that I would be able to really put a lot of my strengths into this. So uh, I think this is, I feel comfortable doing this. I'm excited to be a part of a great team. Mm -hmm. uh, the opposition in the House of Commons is about holding the government, uh, it's a check and balance, it's about holding the government to account. We've got a lot of strong people and we're going to take our role seriously and be constructive and effective. i got to let you go, but I want to ask one more question. Will you move into Stornoway? Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for taking time out this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it.